So, so I'm going to say import scipy. And scipy has an ODE int. So instead of calling um, my version here, we can actually call the inbuilt one from scipy. And I just need to say h0 equals the step size. Okay, and this will uh, run scipy or scipy's ODE integrator. So let's try that run module has no int no attribute ODE int so sci pi dot ODE let's just check what this code is supposed to be sci pi integrate ODE int integrate dot ODE int right so it's actually within a sub-module called integrate, so to call it I need the whole path to this function unless I did something above, so let's run snow model integrate scipy integrate ODE int let's check I've not got a typo there No. On side by import integrate Let's try calling it this way. Extra arguments must be in a tuple. Okay, so this is saying my params here must be in a tuple. So params, instead of being in a list, it wants it in a tuple, which is a list that can't be edited. Run, get derivatives, get takes five, three arguments, five given. So it unpacks the parameters, I think. So instead of when it, so I've passed it a tuple of the parameters, but when it calls this function, it's unpacking them. So I can call this k1, k2, k3. Okay. Okay, so I can delete that line. Now let's run it and let's see what happened. You can see I've got an output here. Let's just change my initial conditions and check if I'm actually running it. Save, run. So you can see that my graphs changed, so it is now using from scipy integrate ODE int. Okay. So I had a bit of trouble working out how to call it. But you can see the function we wrote is essentially doing the same job, but Python's ODE integrator is quite clever, so I don't need to pass it the step size, it will work that out for me. Still run. And instead of a tier instead of this time array having every step for instance if it needs to integrate over a million steps to get an accurate result I don't need to plot a million steps to be able to draw a smooth curve okay so the time array I pass to uh, Python's ODE int actually just says what times do you, do you want the fun do you want this solver to return for so I could say for the time array I just want you to solve me uh, give me a hundred points along this time span. So here, so where I've got lin space, I can just say, give me a hundred points. Okay. And it doesn't affect what's going on inside the ODE integrator. That chooses its own step size, but it's only going to return me 
a hundred values of the time that it's solved. Okay, so you can see it's given me the same result. If I return 10 points, my graph is going to look different because now I've only uh, given me the result of the integration here, here, and here, and here, but it's actually used many points in between. So for instance, <clears throat> I could plot this as a as points. If I then repeat this, let's forget. So I repeat it again, but using but returning ten thousand. So passing it a TRO with ten thousand points. The solution's not going to change. Uh, it's just going to change what points are returned to me from the solution. Right, so run and save it. Let's see what I've got. There we go. So you see, when I asked it for just 10 points back, it gave me 10 points which were on the exact solution that it solved. So it wasn't just using those 10 points as the time steps. It decided what was the best time steps to use. So for my simple uh, fun for my simple ODE solver, uh, my ODE solver just solved it using the you know the f most simple forward Euler method, and it did depend on that. But Python's inbuilt one doesn't depend on it. Okay, so the time array that I passed to ODE in is just for is just saying what I'm interested in is the course of the system at these time points so these time te 10 time points if i only wanted um to work out what the system did at the time end i could just say give me two points so i'm just going to have a vector in fact i could just say my time array is just going to look like this time start and time end and then recorded x i can say print recorded x ignore my plot and recorded x is just going to have the initial conditions followed by the final state at time t equals 1500 so I'm expecting my initial condition is it's all in A and the final condition after 1500 is it's pretty much all in D so let's run that check yep so you see 1 times e to the 0 so it's all in A and these are all infinitesimally well they're not quite infinitesimally small but tiny numbers and it's all in D so if I call it if I just say give me integrate it and return me the time the system at time start and time end that's all it does but it's using many many steps to go between these two values